What's up everybody, it's Leo G coming at you live and direct from Manhattan, New York City on this beautiful, cool Friday evening in the fall. I'm gonna check out this Peruvian place behind me and I'm gonna share it all with you guys. So come along and enjoy. Let's go. Yeah, apparently locals, locals hang out here, right? I live around the block. What's up, Donatella? Donatella, she's 16 years old. She can't Aww. see, but she, she's out here. Yes. Yes, sir. Come by. The friendly place. Got the ceviche mixto. If you're going to a Peruvian place, you gotta have ceviche. And their mixed entree platter. So we got a tamale with chicken, empanada, potatoes, and bistec. And the empanadas with chicken as well. Little light veggies. Happy Friday. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of a zesty tang at the back of the tongue. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It has that heart, you know, organy type of aspect to it. You can hustle, you can have heart, and you can have heart. Mm. With the music too, right? <laughs> Alright, let's look at this uh, tamale here. Let's get a cross section here. Hey, see that? Any meat in here? Yeah. Oh, look at that little stuffed chicken here. Get a piece of this. It doesn't fall apart on the way there. Mm, mm -hmm. That nice tamale starch, but not too heavy. Stuff with chicken. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of that dipping sauce here. Huh? All right, next we'll try out the empanada here. So, anywhere in South America, right? This is a Peruvian restaurant, so gotta have the empanadas. Let's get a nice dunk in the sauce here. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yeah. Nice and crispy outer shell. Again, not too heavy. Let's try this other sauce. Let's get another bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. -hmm. Let's try the side of potatoes here. Wow. There's all these like mystery sauces on here. I have no idea what these are. This is like a an egg cream. And remember to get your vegetables, right? I like how the fresh onion and tomato provides a little bite. You know, flavor contrast. Mm. Alright, so we tried everything on the mixed platter. And we'll go over to the ceviche mixto. So let's see what we got. We got some shrimps, we got some, some squid, some calamari, right? Some veggies, some octopus or 
pulpo and a nice uh, black type of sauce at the bottom. Let's taste that. Ooh. Oh, that's the citrus, right? So the ceviche, it's kind of like mildly cooked by the citrus juice. Just a lot of lemon and lime and all that bite kind of gets into the seafood. If you're at a Peruvian place, you gotta have ceviche. Let's go in. We get a nice uh, squid and shrimp. Oh yeah. Mm. So this is a traditional pisco sour cocktail that the very friendly owner just handed me. So let's try that. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice and sour. Goes well with the ceviche. It's a good pair. Guys, come here. Have this drink and have this with the ceviche. I think it's gonna be a great, great match. Salud. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Nice and foamy. All right, let's get in for some more of this ceviche. We got some octopus here. Mmm. I won't go. All right. Bottom line with the ceviche is that that strong citrus flavor just underneath every bite. Very refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Everybody that works here is super friendly. The owner and everybody, they say they're gonna give us the anti cucho, which is that beef heart on a skewer. Lomo saltado, which is sauteed filet mignon strips with onions, tomatoes, and a little soy sauce. That's a classic Peruvian dish and has a flair of Asian because South America and especially the west of South America like Peru has a shared kind of migration with some of the East Asian countries. If you look at the map, right? So, got the soy sauce in there for good measure. It's like a fusion dish. And then also the Causa Limena. So Causa is the name of the restaurant. And that's shredded rotisserie chicken with mashed potato and avocado. Looking at the picture, the mashed potato is kind of made into a cake format around the meat and the avocado. So we're gonna try out these dishes and share it with you guys. It's the Lomo Saltado, which is made with filet mignon. And it's a hybrid Asian South American dish because of the flavor profile and some of the soy sauce and the mixed veg, kind of stir fry style, right? Anticucho, which is the beef heart, corazón de bistec, if you will. And it's marinated in a Peruvian dry red pepper. So look at that. Skewer style, right? Kebab style. And always have those fresh vegetables to balance it out. Oh, yeah. And then the Causa Limena, as the name says. So this is a yellow potato with the cream sauce. And there's chicken here and avocado. Que bueno. Que rico. Oh yeah, and by the way, we got the explanation on this. So this is the aji verde. That's a green salsa crema. And this is the huacaina, if I'm saying that correctly. I believe I am, which is a yellow salsa crema. Nice and tangy, a little bit of kick, good flavor. All right, guys, I'm gonna try each one of these dishes out and let you know, and maybe you can pick a favorite together, right? All right, let's try this filet mignon, huh? Lomo saltado. Let's see how the meat is here. Mm. The meat quality, they cook it really well, huh? Oh, yeah. Mmm! Mmm! 
Nice stir fry, nice soy sauce undertone there. Mm hmm. Fry some of that veg. Mmm. This is the first thing I tried of the three dishes. Lomo saltado. It's living up to expectations. Peruvian, East Asian stir fry. Yeah, I'll get another bite of meat. Maybe just try the dipping sauce first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let that meat flavor and the quality of the meat stand out for itself, right? Let's go for these skewers, right? Look at these guys. You can hustle and you can have heart, literally. I'm gonna have a full heart, a whole heartedness today. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It just feels healthy. It's like you know when you eat liver, you feel like you're getting healthier because maybe in some way that's regenerating your liver. Well, same thing with the heart. Maybe you, if you have a broken heart, you can put that back together by eating this. <laughs> mm. Two huge skewers here, so we got our hands full, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Remember, that's the... Peruvian dry pepper is what they marinated in. And then a little dusting of sauce. Kind of like a mild South American barbecue sauce. Peruvian. Look at that presentation, huh? Beautiful. It says Causa. That's the name of the restaurant. K-A-U-S-A. -A. So this is avocado and shredded chicken in between some yellow mashed potato and some nice toppings, an egg, and some veggies to top it off. I love radish, super healthy. Let's get some of this. Oh yeah, it just melts like butter here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the creamy avocado comes in right behind the chicken right behind the smooth, creamy potato. The combination is so good. I like the way they assemble it. It's like a little, you know, cake stack. Let's get another bite. Mmm. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, with the egg too. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't know. These are the mysteries that I don't know the answers to, right? I have more questions than answers. <laughs> what I can say is all of the food here is delicious and everybody's nice and friendly, all the people that work here and the whole environment. The lighting, the vibes. You can check out the decor. I might have to go with the Lomo Saltado as a favorite. Well, because it already has a leg up because of the quality of the meat, right? So, and they do a good job with the stir fry and the balance of flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Kind of goes with the music too, right? <laughs> might have to start dancing over here. Whole new definition of 
giving your heart. Eat your heart out. All you wonderful folks out there, I give you my heart. Let's go ahead and uh, get that dipping sauce, right? Mmm. Guys, come here, get the lomo saltado. Whoa. We made it through. You gotta get some radish. You know, the post meal groove. <laughs> really delicious, really tasty, good quality, everything they had here. I recommend it. All right, everybody, that was Kausa on 9th Avenue. I'll put the link down below. Hope you enjoyed the food and sharing that together. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click that bell notification icon so you get notified when new content drops. And most importantly, enjoy the ride. Let's go.